Hello, today we will talk about this circuit, the boost converter, which is a DC to DC converter that increases the voltage. This is the most basic circuit for a boost converter. It has only a DC power supply, an inductor, a switch, a diode and a capacitor. When we turn on and off the switch continuously, the voltage at the output will be larger than the input voltage and the factor of amplification can be 2, 5, 10 times or even more. Of course, the current, the output current will be lower than the input current by the same factor. The commutation that we do here with the switch can be done manually, that is using a mechanical switch. Of course, this is not efficient. I have a video on that. I will give you the link in the description of this video if you want to check it out. But we can also do the commutation using an electronic oscillator or an electromechanical oscillator that is using a relay, which is what we will do in this video. Here we have a relay that is connected as an oscillator. It is a double pole, double throw relay, which means that we have two sets of contacts. These two contacts are the contacts of the coil and we have the common, normally closed and normally open, the same in the other set. In order to work as an oscillator, we connect the normally closed contact with one contact of the coil and we apply voltage to the other side of the coil and to the common. The other set of contacts will be used to do the commutation of our circuit. I will give you a link in the description of this video to another video where I discuss in detail how to use a relay as an oscillator. This is the inductor that I will use. It is simply a bolt and nut with around 600 turns of magnet wire size 30 AWG. It has around 100 millihenries of inductance. Here's the circuit using a relay in place of a switch. You can see that it's the same circuit, only we have substituted the switch with the relay wired as an oscillator. We need a separate power supply for the relay, positive here and negative. Here I have the circuit. We have our homemade inductor, the DPDT 12 volt relay wired as oscillator. Here's the diode. You can use any diode that you have at, at hand and the capacitor. You can use any capacitance from 2 to 10 microfarads and the capacitor must be rated at a voltage of course larger than the maximum voltage that our booster can have as an output. In my case it is 1.8 microfarads at 400 volts. And for the connections here we apply the input voltage and the output voltage will be obtained at the capacitor's terminals. These two wires are for power to the relay. Let's now test the circuit. The input voltage is a single battery that is 1.5 volts. The multimeter is connected to the capacitor terminals to check the output voltage and the relay is fed with 12 volts from my power supply. Now I will connect the battery and turn on the relay and you can see the voltage rising. So we obtain around 70 volts at the output. Of course, the output voltage depends on the input. I will now use two AA batteries, that is 3 volts, and let's see 
what output voltage do we get? Around 120 volts. I hope you find this circuit interesting. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.